I had a dream last night that I became famous and people started making like Instagram edits of myself. That's that was pretty cool. It was a good dream. <laughs> That's all I had to say about that. Chapter two, baby. Oh, I don't wanna oh. Phew, that should that should just be a just about do it. Oh my god. I hate being in charge of the gym equipment. All because of that stupid co-ed meet in two days. Why can't the boys class rep take care of the grunt work? <laughs> yeah. Freaking something. <laughs> Doesn't he know what a del delicate flower I am? Most I've ever had to lift before was chopsticks, and he expects me to lug around a damn... Fomal horse? Oh god, is it gonna be an ass comment again? That's one pretty sight! What is it? That booty you got! <laughs> what? Yours is way cuter! Mine's all plump like a duck's. What are you saying? You've got what they call children bearing hips, child bearing hips. That's a good thing. I mean, when you get older, you can pump out all the you can pump out all the babies you want with the greatest of ease. I'm actually kind of happy to hear you say that. Oh. You do have a certain motherly qual uh, quality to you, Naomi. It's no wonder you're so good with kids. But of course, I'm hoping to raise four children one day. Sounds like you'll make- you'll be making some lucky guy real happy. Hmm? Oh, I don't want to be back here. I wonder how Naomi's gonna do now. Probably not well. Let's go. Wasn't that, uh, Nakashima's voice? And she was screaming. What do I do? I can't let anything happen to my students. Oh! <gasps> Ayumi! Shinozaki, it, it's all right. Please calm down. <laughs> but you heard it too outside her voice. I did. I think she's hyperventilating. I need to try to calm her breathing before she passes out. It probably wasn't a real voice. I'm sure it was just surrounded. It sounded like one. Maybe it was the building settling. I'll go check it out though. And see if I can figure out what it was for sure. You two stay right here, okay? <laughs> Don't leave us. Is she Nozaki? It's okay, Teach. I'll keep an eye on Shinozaki. Okay. Or better yet, how about I go take a look? And you wait here. Not a chance. Until I can verify everyone's safety. I don't keep you- I want to keep you two out of harm's way. Well, okay. I guess- well, okay, I guess. Be careful, though. Look at 
Like, she'll be fine, jeez. I'm counting on you, uh, Kishimuna. Uh, struggle with the names. No problem. And Sniff, like, the people in this game seem to split up a lot, but there's nothing we can do about it. I'm actually scared, my legs are even shaking. I have no idea what's going on. My head is spinning. I can't make sense of anything. My chest hurts like my heart is encased in ice. And I can't shake the, this dizziness or this nausea. But when I think about the possibility of something horrible happening to my dear students, I can feel a newfound energy welling up from within me. She's a good teacher's aide. I feel like if nothing else, I could at least pay the, play the part of the level-headed adult. It's a good energy to have. Valor, thy name is education! Whoa! Gasp! <laughs> well, if it isn't the teacher, are you all by yourself? Decided to stop shaking and shivering with the other two back in 1A, did ya? I'll have you know I heard one of my students screaming and have set out to find her. I see, regrettably, all I can- I see, regrettably, as I keep telling people. That wouldn't be possible. This school exists in, in a nexus where multiple dimensions overlap. It's but a single closed space in a sea of closed spaces. Is this the same guy that talked to Naomi and Seiko? In other words, even though you may be in the same school as your screaming students, you and she occupy different dimensions. Which means you can never meet. If one of you should die, perhaps your body and your spirit may move from spa one space to another, or... Maybe you can find some means of traversing the planes freely, as they do. Who's they? Consider this fair warning. Even if you should find the exact spot which your students scream, students scream emitted, she herself may not be there. And if she isn't, there is no not a thing you can do about it. But I heard her voice. It is true that other children may have been brought here quite recently. Children who, by all appearances, are indeed your students. But as I suggested, time and space do not behave as you assume here. They're fragmented. You say you heard a scream. That scream may have taken place only a few minutes ago. Or perhaps it occurred in another space many hours previous. That's scary. It may even have been an echo from the future. Who's to say? That's fucked up crazy time shit. With this phenomenon as it is, it is entirely possible for two close spaces to have some small influence on one another, even when out of sync. It doesn't matter. I can't just ignore that agonizing scream and go on my merry way. Step aside. Oh, come on. Step aside? Why don't you fuck off? Why are you red now? You d damned corporal, is that what it said? There's so many earthquakes in this place. Oh, god damn it. Oh, that must hurt so bad. In all the world, the most vile, untrustworthy individuals of them all are you school teachers. Well, <laughs> All you care about is your own well-being. You're not worried about your students. You're just worried about being held responsible if something ha should happen to them. That's not true. I, I think she she's a good teacher's aide. This really hurts. You're all the same. Every last one of you. And I won't be taken in by your lies anymore. Taken in? 
when you see a problem among your kids, you just keep your distance. Because you sure wouldn't want to get involved. Have to keep up appearances, right? You just pick out the problem child and chip away at them little by little until they either drop out or get expelled. That's a very specific... I, that's very specific, sir. Or ma'am. You're not disciplining them. You're just raging them... Uh, ragging them out. That's not... I've never met a teacher who actually cared about her students. Not once. You're wrong. Oh my god. That's horrifying. All these students are... All of your students are destined to starve to death in this godforsaken halls if they don't succumb to depression and kill themselves first. Jesus. There's no other possible outcome. They'll all die meaningless deaths, just like I did. They sure won't be thinking about you when they take their final breaths. Rude. Oof. Any last words, bitch? Jesus. I'll tell them... I'll tell them to your students as... I end their miserable lives. Jesus! I thought you were nice! Spare. Come again? Spare my students. What was that? Please. I don't care about what happens to me. Just please spare them their lives. Jesus. They're not your children. They're and you're not their mother. You're really just still pretending to care about them? Filthy liar. Did you know when you die in this accursed place you experience the pain you felt at the moment of your death for all eternity? I'm going to crush you into dust. The pain must be unbearable. Unimaginable. And we're going to feel that pain every moment for every of every day furthermore. Furthermore. Ask me to spare you. It's what you really want, isn't it? Be honest with me, and I'll consider sparing your life. Don't you harm a hair on their heads. Do you hear me? You're one stubborn little bitch. That's my name, don't wear it out. <laughs> ah! This is excruciating. I think my rib cage is broken. Oh! It feels like someone's pushing this cabinet down top of me with superhuman force. I'm losing consciousness. Ah! Uh. Does it hurt? Nah, poor baby. Your corpse will look just like a dead frog on the side of the road. Jesus Christ! Everybody, live. No! I hope this was a wrong end. I don't want the teacher to die. Wrong end, please? Bad end? No! That was supposed to happen! Naomi. Whoa, another earthquake? I think it's over. What's wrong? I just got a really bad feeling. We gotta go search for Miss, uh, for the Miss. I don't know. I don't want to butcher the names. I feel bad. <laughs> what if she comes back while we're gone, and we miss each other along the way? We're going. All right, all right, already. I like these two already. But if we don't have any luck finding her, let's make sure we come back to this room, okay? How's about we leave her a note? Shinozaki, do you have anything I could write with? I've got a pen. 
But no paper, huh? We always... There's the teacher's desk. You're gonna write on the desk? That's smart. Not that she's a any capacity to come back. Miss Yu, we, we got in to find you. If we pass each other and you see this message, wait right here, we'll be back. How's that? Blunt and kind of sloppy. <laughs> it's your fault we have to leave her a message at, at all, you know? But she might be in trouble. She is. Okay, just don't cry. We'll find her. Oh. What's up? I just had a brainstorm. Class rep Shinozaki's famous <laughs> scary time candles. There's not a student in 2A who isn't familiar with them, right? <laughs> You're kidding. There's not a student in our grade who hasn't seen them at least once. People call you the horror rep of... of... Kisa... Ruggy? I don't know. <laughs> For a reason. So how about... She's the one that leaves the candles around! We light candles like this all throughout the school building. They'll be like a, a single f the sig signal flames for Mashida and the others. I don't know what you and me and Miss you <laughs> are all here with them, safe and sound. I didn't even realize that they were the same candles. So that means this happened before Naomi and Seiko. Because the candles were already there. Seems like she's just trying to reassure herself that she's okay. But if it makes her feel better. No, she's too cute. Come on, let's go. Okay. Let's go. What the hell kind of room is this? It's not like any classroom I've ever seen. Whoa. Hey, Shinozaki? My head is splitting. Are you okay? We shouldn't be here. We really shouldn't be here. Okay, we'll leave, we'll leave. It looks like there's something in there, though. In the back. No. If she says we shouldn't be here, I'll leave. And go save. <laughs> Oh. What the hell? <laughs> Stay back! Ah! <laughs> Don't scare me like that, jeez. You absolutely positively must not look into his eyes, okay? Alright, we won't. A rusted blood-soaked nail puller is sitting on top of the desk. Take it? Yes. Now how do we... <sighs> that wasn't that hard, actually. <laughs> that was pretty easy. Get on, ghost! What's well, interesting, I like how this game is set up to where we're all in the school, but... Not only are we in different, like, dimensional spaces, but we're all in different times. Which is interesting, because if this group must be the first... Okay, pause that thought. What is it? The fuck? Huh? Hey, Shinozaki, where are you going? What the hell is that all about? I don't know. What the fuck are- Where are you going, girl? Hey! Ayumi! No, don't do the Blair Witch shit. Oi, Shinozaki. Shinozaki. There you are. What are you- No one is saying that. Saying what? Today is my daughter's birthday. She's, she's turning seven. Aw, congrats. We're going together to celebrate. 
What are you doing? That's disgusting. What? What's happening? Why are you both looking at me like that? Like what? Yeah, so it's crazy. So these must be the first because they're leaving around candles. And in chapter one with Seiko and, and Naomi, we found candles. So this w must have been before that. Well, I don't know if it's first, but it's definitely before. What's interesting is the place is more decrepit than Seiko and Naomi, like, chapter. So what the fuck's that about? It's crazy. Hey. You done having your little, your little moment? What's wrong? Oh god, she's possessed. Spray her with holy water. You were saying some weird stuff just now. Was she not aware? Must be the pressure. Her nerves are probably shot. No, I think that's possession. Never mind, probably just my imagination. Don't worry about it. Damn, okay, that's that. That's... That's it. Ah, boy! It's that ghost from before. It left the classroom. <laughs> Don't let it touch you, okay? Is it coming in here? I like how I just screamed, boy! <laughs> uh... Oh, shit, shit. Jukes, get on, child. The door is nailed shut, and the nails are hammered in tight. It's not going to open through any time, any normal means. Use the nail puller. Yeah, that's normal. All right, we're not stuck anymore. There's a piece of scrap paper pinned to the wall. You notice dark spots dotting the page, and realize they're tear stains. Those who choose to ignore the darkness that dwells in the hearts of men, a man may be stuck forever in a loop. For in this world, there are some truths that simply must be known, no matter how disturbing. But curiosity can be deadly, and the other truths are best left untold. Beware the messages of the dead, for they be, for there be curses among them. Curses can be crushed, that can crush even the strongest wills. Dem um, demolishing all substance, substance of reason. If you wish to protect your sanity, take heed. Do not let your curiosity get the better of you. Oh, too bad. A control mechanism of some sort, an elaborate pulley system, rigged by a network. The rigged up with a network of fine, virtually transparent threads. There's a lever jutting out from one side. Pull it. Yes. Aha! We'll go to that one. Yeah! Pull it. Yes. Mmm! Something bad's gonna happen. I should have kept my fucking mouth shut. Mouth shut. What do I do here? Oh, sh shit. Oh, shit. No, god damn it. Oh. He goes down. That sucks. Yes! Get out, child! <laughs> Third time is the charm! We're still being chased, aren't we? I don't want to wait to find out! <laughs> go, 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 no, I just thought this seemed like a good spot for another candle. Oh, I love her. These two are my favorite. I think Iomi is my favorite. Because I relate to her. Uh. 
Oh, this is the infirmary area. I wonder if, if it's still, no. Does that mean one of us gets thrown against the wall? That'd be traumatizing. I like these two. I hope none of them are the ones that get thrown against the wall. Maybe none of us in our group gets thrown against the wall. Maybe that's just one of the things. Because there's a lot of bodies, but none of that is us. I wonder if that ghost is still shitting. Oh, you okay? It feels weird being in the boys' room. That's okay. It was just a ghost shitting. You there? <laughs> yeah, he's still shitting. He takes delicate poop so he doesn't strain himself. Oh god. What's this? Seems stained, but with what? Almost looks like a person. It's Naomi. Somebody died here. I can hear her voice. What's wrong? Whoa. Oh. There she go again. Shirozaki. Damn it all. What the hell is going on around here? You don't even know the half of it, boy. Are you alright, Shirozaki? Oh god, she possessed again. No! Girl! Pull your shit together! Bring me more. You'll do what- it Oh, shit. I don't care if you're innocent. You listed- You're listed as buried alive, aren't you? They're mine. I'm sure as hell not sharing with the likes of you. Cleanup is a real pain in the ass, too, you know. Have some pity. <laughs> What's up? I only stop it. Fight it, Shinozaki. No. Oh. The hell? That really hurt. I believe in you. Why doesn't anybody listen to me? What do you mean? What the hell are you talking about? I don't understand a single word you're saying. Don't walk away. Stop it. Don't walk away. God damn it. Oh. Do you know what's happening? That poor girl, she's lost her mind. And she'll never get it back. Possession is a frightful thing. To have your thoughts push deep down into the pit of your soul. And someone else's take their place. Uh... You gonna be okay? You're just gonna... I'm gonna be staring at you as if transfixed with an unnatural wide smile stretched across her face. Chidozaki? I feel like I'm losing my mind. Why is this happening to us? Maybe we shouldn't have read those memoirs. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> What's all this smoke I see? Get the hell out of that stall. Oh, we're getting in trouble for smoking. Getting the tobacco again! <laughs> Just say a cigarette. No, sir. Didn't I warn you what will happen if I caught you smoking again? Expulsion. That's what. I'm sorry. You're really a problem child, you know that? Why do you ever come to school in the first place? Damn. It's for Ayumi. Cause he likes her. And that's okay, I ship it too. 
Disowned by your parents, living on your own, got no friends, never go to class. Just because you hate school doesn't give you the right to throw fits and raise a ruckus all the time, mister. You're clearly not having any fun here, right? So why don't you just drop out? I really don't get it. Well, maybe he's trying. It's not like you're trying to get- oh. You don't know that. With your home life as it is, I- The thought probably hasn't even crossed your mind. Rude. Um. Wish I could ask your parents what they think of having a no good kid. Jesus, you're so mean. But they've once shown their fa- But they've never once shown their faces around here. Not since the very first parent-teacher conference we ever held. Wonder if they'd be embarrassed. My parents are not exactly proud of me, shall we say. That's not what I mean. I'm thinking of a, I'm thinking of the big picture here. They're clearly just no, not good parents. The problem is, people are having kids when they're way too young. Before they've... Yeah, don't worry. Before they've become proper adults, they're popping out babies on their own. And bad parents raise bad kids. That's why there are so many brats like you in this world. Jesus, gym teacher. Oh, backhander. He's right about one thing. There's no reason for me to stay in this school. No, if you're trying, then keep- then there's no shame and keep trying. I should just beat the crap out of this jackass then drop out! People think as long as they get paid as they pay school taxes or tuition, they're good mommies and daddies. Well, newsflash, they're not. <laughs> hmm? What's with that look? I've never had a teacher before. Ah, well. First time for everything. <gasps> Ayumi! Well, if it isn't the class rep. What's up? The vice principal is looking for you. You're needed back at the staff room. Gotcha. Thanks. Shinzaki, we- You got great eyes, you know. Ew! Always so clever and focused. Uh -huh. We instructors like your kind best of all. You ever had a problem, come talk to me about it. Okay? Ew. <laughs> Creepy teachers. And mean. That guy's the worst. Period! <laughs> Thanks. You're not really any better. No! <laughs> I love Ayumi. You were thinking about hitting him just now, weren't you? Oh, she got you. What a sad fate it would be to kick out of school over a pathetic excuse for a teacher like him. I love them so much. I want what they have! Creepy girl, and like, it's kind of like a, uh, 10 things I hate about you. Except if, if the girl in that, the shrew, was, a, like, she liked horror, then it, then, then it'd be my dream relationship. <laughs> oh, this is why I'm single. And you'd, you'd regret it later. You know you would, no matter how much of a pain in the ass it may be, and no matter how you think it will turn out in the end. Just stay in school, bite your tongue, and make it to graduation. I like her. Honestly. Why are you crying? Because she likes you. And you like her. And it's cute. Sorry, whenever I give an impassioned speech like that, I always find myself tearing up a little. I love her. You're... Oh, God. I don't know his name. Kishinuma from class uh one five, right? Yeah. I'm Shinozaki from class one three. Sorry to butt in like that. Don't worry about it. Later. Hey, when you told him the vice principal was calling. I was lying, of course. <laughs> oh man. She's fine. She's just a little possessed. 
I never actually think think there for what she did that day and crying on my behalf. <laughs> and I swore to myself as soon as I realized we were trapped in here, trapped here, that I'd protect her no matter what happened. Oh. This must be a test to see if I really meant that. No matter what happens, part. Why the hell are you doing this? Answer me! Shinozaki? Aww. What did you say, blonde guy? Yashiki? I don't know how to say his name! I feel bad! I just call him the blonde dude, and I feel rude about that. We're going to find all our classmates and get at this horrible place, okay? There's no reason, no reason for you to stay like this. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to properly say those things. So. Aww. I ship it so hard. They're cute. And you know it. Kichimura? Where? What? Yay! They, he did it. Ow! Is it you? Are you back? What? What did you... That's what you're saying. Yeah, so far all the corpses we've found in here... ...have been people we've never met before. But that stain was left behind by someone really close to us. Someone whose mind was completely filled with the pain and agony of death. Naomi! The next thing I knew, I was in your arms. And you were squeezing the life out of me! <laughs> Couldn't she just say hugging? <laughs> Someone close to us, huh? I really hope that it just this once. Your intuition is wrong. But I could feel all her pain. I was freezing cold except my throat was so hot. I felt like I was on fire. It was on fire. And then I avoided my bowels and everything- What? <laughs> Did you pee yourself? No matter how hard I struggled, my arms and my legs just wouldn't move. I wanted to yell out, help me. But I had no voice. I was scared, and the pain was excruciating. Oh. Calm down, Shinozaki. That wasn't you. You're still alive. I know. While well, we searched the whole building, Miss Yu really is nowhere to be found. Maybe we should head back to the classroom. Yeah, that's probably the best. No Satoshi or the others, though. Pie my hair, it's my face. All right, yeah. No, fuck, is that the boy? Go in the door. Giddy conversation and laughter can be heard wafting from the infirmary. <laughs> really? It's happening. Oh wait, is that Mayu? Oh, that ghost has no head. <laughs> That's her right. It's the same for me. I love my school. It is Mayu. Susumoto, get away! You need to run quickly. My homeroom teacher is the best. But I guess you feel the same way about yours too, huh? Yeah, she seems fine. Hey, snap out of it! It's us, okay? Can you stand? Come on, we're right here. No, I'm okay. Believe it or not, these really aren't bad kids. Oh. Now, why is the music so dramatic? <laughs> They've just been through some horrible experiences here. 
Read this and you'll see what I mean. Heavenly Post, four children abducted. Follow up report. The brutal, shocking deaths of the recent kidnapping grad students. Grade student schoolers. Oh my god. They have been traced back to the hands of the instructor found in the room with them. The scissors he held confirmed to have been used to cut the victim's tongues. Uh, ultimately leading to the death through excessive bleeding or choking. Oh, poor kids. One of the victims had a majority of her head. Oh, it's the... Oh! Slowly, methodically removed. This cranial mass was found on the floor next to her body. Heavenly Hill Elementary School students pictured here are the four who were found in the basement room. Ah! Of these children, one was blank when investigators arrived at the scene of the crime. She was blank. Blood. Blank. Newspaper is torn at this point. The bottom half of the article is missing. So the four, like, actual ghost ghosts are the victims of the murder. And there's four of them. These ghosts have the same faces and uniforms as children in the photographs. That's what I just said. The ghosts that are chasing the first one early is one of them, too. Then why are they bad? Are they just mad? I don't get it. I can't just ignore these poor souls. I'm going to stay with them. I don't think that's a good idea. You really need to get out of this room. Why is it always this room where shit goes down? Suzumoto, you have to stop this. Don't let your emotions get the better of you. Hey, what's going on? What's ha Oh, shit. What the hell did they do? What is happening? Okay, do I just leave? <sighs> I'm so cold, I feel like I'm freezing. Oh, not again. Can't even touch her, much less get her down. So what the hell do we do we do? I don't know. But we have to do something. We have to. Your nose is bleeding. What? Don't tell me that, jeez! And you're so blunt. What did you want him to say? <laughs> Wouldn't you prefer I didn't say anything? And just let it drip? Yeah! Hello. Who? You're not from our school. <laughs> She's got eyes like a dead fish. That's rude to say. You only just arrived at the school, have you not? That's right. We were brought here against... You were brought here against your will. I can't say I recognize your uniform. Actually, I died here quite a while. Oh. I came to search of someone very important to me, you see. She so went here on purpose? Um. Your name wouldn't happen to be. Now, wouldn't it? Would it? It is. Who's that? High school paranormalist. I think she was on TV, uh. Receiving some kind of award last year. She's an author, right? Yeah She's also pretty well known for Commuting with spirits And as a popular homepage was lots of information to paranormal studies and occultism I'm a big fan of yours miss Oh god, I don't know I'm on your website all the time That's very flattering though I'm afraid you won't be seeing any more updates from me. Your last post was about the Sachiko Ever After term. That bitch is the one who did it! I've been, what, I've been wondering what happened to you ever since then. I never imagined it was anything like this, though. Hey, sorry to interrupt. 
But did you say you came here to search in search of someone? Yes. So you came here on your own volition? On purpose? There's a way to do that? That's not something I can talk about. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> the greater concern right now is your friend. That's true. That's right. Do you have any idea what we can do to save her? Before I died here, I searched high and low for any means of escape. In the process, I learned that these closed spaces were given the form of Heavenly Host Elementary School through the sorrow and agony of its victims. Victims of an incident that occurred 30 years before our time. Four children kidnapped with broken bodies later found. In this very building, those children are the ones giving shape to this nexus. The four kids pictured in that newspaper article. It sure seems like it. Fortunately, this place took its toll on me, and I died before I was able to make any my escape. But the key seems to lie in this in those children. If they can be put to rest, there might be a way out of here. Without all that sorrow and agony to sustain them, these close spaces would start to break down. All this pointless suffering could come to an end if they if they'd been released from this hell. That's my theory anyway. Yeah, but put them to rest? How the hell do we do that? Give them closure, of course. What they lack is any remorse or regret from the one who killed them. The one who killed them? Are you saying? The murderer is here in this school, yes. Ugh. Seriously? How are we supposed to get someone like that to express remorse? Where would he even begin? Oh, the girl. You need to do whatever you can and do it quickly. If you don't, those two spirits are going to hurt her, your friend. We will. We'll think of something. I guess first order of business is actually finding the killer. Hey, Shinozaki, hold up. I don't know much about you as an author or a paranormal researcher, but I'm going to take your word anyway. Right now, I'm just grateful for any lead at all, so thanks. Oh, what's that? Our homeboy was kind. Oh shit, see you. Is she okay? You're throwing up? Oi. Hey, are you alright? Yeah, I'm okay. I thought I was going to throw up, but I didn't. She's acting normally, but I don't know. I think she's starting to snap under the pressure. She needs to get out of the school. Or she could be in real trouble. Damn it! Why is there no exit? I don't know. Kids are little shitheads. Oh. What the fuck is that? It's a separate head of an old fashioned festival doll lying on the ground. Pick it up. Yes. That's begin to echo in your mind, seemingly from the doll. Somehow or another, it's found a way it's found a way to communicate its soul desire. What the I hear the vo I hear a voice. Return my body. Got ahead! Oh, yes, actually. There's an old-fashioned festival doll lying on the ground. It seems to be missing its head! Oh my god! I'm a genius. Thoughts begin to echo in your mind. Give me back my head. We have your head. As the head and body of the antique doll are joined, it begins speaking more clearly and directly. With a high-pitched voice like that of a child, it slowly repeats several phrases in a cold, distorted, yet oddly sing-song tone. 
Children killing witness, I. I'll fourth with my broom. Never wanting them to die, but scared myself such death and pain. I'm so sorry. I feel ashamed. So very sorry. Is this the teacher? I'm not a bad man. Never wanting them to die, but couldn't raise a helping hand. Bitch, you cut out their tongues! Didn't this doll belong to the murderer? Doesn't it kind of piss you off? Like it's just playing around? Saying what we want to hear? Yes. I'm so sorry. I feel ashamed. So very sorry. We don't need this thing. Wait, don't you think it might count as repentance for the murderer? Does that mean we can bring it to the kids? We're back! <laughs> Susumoto! <laughs> Open your eyes, please! Oh, shit. Haven't you guys done enough already? I don't know about everything that happened to you. And yeah, <laughs> I thought that was really horrible. But you're really cursing and killing innocent people who had nothing to do with any of it? What the hell is that supposed to accomplish, huh? Stop! If you make them mad, they'll shut us out. That's true. Come on, you two. I have something you need to hear, okay? Just listen. Hayumi held up the antique doll and let the children listen to the pentant spirit sealed within. At the end of the day, these are just angry children. You can rest peacefully now, okay? You don't have to keep suffering. That's why I like Ayumi, is because she, she understands that these are just angry and sad kids. So that's why she's talking to them. As you would talk to a child. I think. Unless this is about to go wrong. <laughs> Your parents are waiting for you. Go to them now. Please? I know you can do it. Let go of that girl and let, let go of Suzumoto. <laughs> didn't work. Stop. Oh god. Mayu is the thing splattered on the wall! Holy shit! No! Mayu threw the antique doll onto the ground. But this- but you have to understand this is what I was saying, like, you no matter how sorry someone is, the kids don't have to forgive you. <laughs> They're just mad and took out their anger on the- on, on Mayu. But that kind of goes with my point. see much of Mayu though so I'm not really that sad I'm just shook that 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 she was what the, the thing on the wall was yeah. I'm sorry it is more gross how come she has a bottom half now 
It, yeah, I thought it was just like another body. Like, that's so sad. I can't take this anymore. I wouldn't need it. That's disturbing. <laughs> What the fuck is that thing? What is who is that? What? Ah! Not the blonde guy. Did you do who the fuck are you? No! Did he just die? I liked him. Oh, this bitch is- is she alive? Is she still okay? <laughs> what? The shelf feels like it's gotten lighter. Oh, girl, you got broken ribs! <laughs> uh. So you're really, truly concerned about the safety of your students, are you? Of course I am! Fuck yeah. But you're just- you're just their instructor, no? You have no f familial bond with any of them. You're not their mother. But they're my children. Oh. I think I speak for every single one of us at the academy. When I say that we love our children, we care about them just as if they were- as if their pa their parents do. Oh my god, I can't speak. I'm sorry. Never underestimate a teacher. Period. Now answer me this. You little rant earlier suggested that more of my students are here than the two I came with, and the one I heard. Is it true? Were the others brought here as well? It is. Numerous corporal entities joined us in the, these close spaces all at the same time. Counting you, I sense the, the arrival of nine people. Everyone is here. My right arm is definitely broken. Ah! And all this blood. All those cutting implements on the shelf must have done a number on my back. Oh, you poor lady. I wonder how long I was out for. Oh. Shinozaki and uh, Kizumono must be worried. I have to get back to the classroom. That spirit was trapped here just like us. Succumbing to unbearable feelings of anger and hatred. One victim drawn to harm another. It's not just people trapped in this space, but there's sadness and torment as well. It's got nowhere- it's got nowhere to go, so it hangs in these halls. We shouldn't be here. I have to get them all back home. Oh. Please everybody stay safe. Oh shit! I liked this chapter better than chapter one. But that could be just my preference because I like Ayumi. So hope you guys enjoyed this stream. This chapter was definitely a bit, lot better than the first one. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.